Be real. Be full of God. And they will be the path to your door. Two other things you need to know. When the church lost the kingdom, the church lost its authority and power. I want you to know this. If you don't get anything else from this, if you're saved, you have God living in you in the person of the Holy Spirit who represents Jesus Christ right now. Amen. There wasn't any more of God living in Jesus than lives in you right now. His purpose is to get out of you everything that is you filled with everything that is He until you can say it. You know, I have a desire to depart from me with Christ, but it's been far better. He's talking about his dad, folks. Give me a book. And, and then he said, but you know, I have a desire to be here. If you need me, and I'm going to stay. For to be, to live. Help me. Is yes, what? Not a good Christian deciding to go to church and, and show how religious he or she is. No. For to be, to live is Christ. There are hundreds of Christ in this community. They name the name. He lives in them. He wants to be through them all that he is, in them and to them. Right now, you are the possessor of the kingdom of God. Little children, the Father's good pleasure is to give you the kingdom. When? Well, see, when Jesus came, he brought the kingdom with him. When he left, he didn't take the kingdom away. The Spirit was sent, and this is Paul's description. He said, in Romans 14, 17, he said that the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking. It's not going to church and being religious and eating the right things and refraining from the wrong things. Being the kingdom of God, it is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit come back, fill your life. He will fill you kingdom reality, kingdom power, kingdom faith, you'll have kingdom friendships, you'll have a kingdom business, you'll have a kingdom life, and you'll live in kingdom come. Gives to me to belong to kingdom come. God wants you to be born to kingdom come. Rise up as men and women of faith. Uh, let, me, let me say this to us all. It's not too late to start living life that God's intended guilt. Live it today. Yeah. Don't see anyone with sickness and say, Oh, I'm so fine. Hey, I want to introduce illness to something I know. Illness, meet the king. Meet the kingdom. There is no illness, there is no condition bigger than the king and his kingdom. And I am a representative giving away. So this is what I feature. That there will arise in this day. I wouldn't be here today if I didn't think that was so. There's going to arise old people who discover the old truth as if it is brand new. And they're going to rise and say, wow, I have been appointed and anointed as a representative of the kingdom of God that's going to be real 500 billion years today and from today and is real right now and I can help spread it out. The love of God is shed abroad in my heart by the Holy Spirit and this is a regime of love and I'm giving it away, sir. I'm asking God to heal you. I'm asking God to lift you. I'm asking God to, to repair your broken finances. I'm asking God to admit you to the kingdom. Welcome to the kingdom. Amen. Amen. Okay, I'm trying to feel like I'm through. As some of you are leaning forward, hopefully it didn't happen. Could I issue the challenge? I know that you're leaving. If you don't report it, then I'll be back out. We'll have to come to Jesus. 
He's going to preach what Jesus preached, but it won't work unless you believe what he says. And let God do a fresh new work in your life. But you say, how do, how do you do it? Give yourself away to him. Move from where you are toward what you want to be. George Bernard Shaw read something somebody said about him. He was entertaining a reporter, an almost reporter, a rookie reporter. And he said, uh, Mr. Shaw, you, you've met great people of the world. You've met the kings. You've met the celebrities. Uh, which one of these would you rather be like than anybody else? You know what he said? I'd rather be George Bernard Shaw. you could have been. You could have been a Jesus walking around with power to heal. That's what you are. I challenge you to be what you are beginning today. Really? Beginning today. You said, well, I don't understand. Do you understand salvation? Did you wait till you understood it to get saved? You never would have gotten saved. Listen, the kingdom is for you. You're a kingdomite right now. see him as he is. So don't worry about that. This word sons is not gender limited in the Bible. If you can get used to being a son, we men can get used to being part of the bride of Christ. Amen. So get over those little I've seen all of you. I started preaching some years ago.